If you've ever used Contact Form 7 for WordPress, you'll know it's not the best looking form plugin. It's functional, but the looks department, well, it's kind of lacking. Well, in this video, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to style that with one plugin. So let's just take a look at that plugin and how we can start styling Contact Form 7. So in this video, we're going to be taking CSS Hero and using that to visually style Contact Form 7. Now, like I said, Contact Form 7, where it's a very good form creation tool, it's not very easy to style. You need to know CSS. Well, CSS Hero allows you to visually style it in the same way you can style things with a customizer in WordPress. If you've never taken a look at CSS Hero in the past and you'd like to get up to speed with it, I'd recommend checking out some of the other videos on this channel where I go into a lot more detail. But today, we're just going to be taking a look at how to easily style Contact Form 7. So let's just jump over to WordPress, find out the dashboard, open CSS Hero, and take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So I've got a pretty basic contact form now, create with contact form seven, some basic fields in there, your name, email, and so on. But when we look at it on the page, it's picked up some of the styling from our theme, but it doesn't really inspire any confidence. So how can we go in and create our own styles? Well, we can use CSS Hero and we can use some of the advanced functions to speed up the process of duplicating content. So let's just fire up CSS Hero and start editing our contact form seven form. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to hop back over to the dashboard, go to our pages and load up the page that has our contact form. So we click on that and then we'll click on customize with CSS Hero. Once we do that, that'll open up the page and allow us to start customizing it using the CSS Hero customizer panel. So now we can go through and we can start selecting the different elements that we want to start styling. So on the left hand side, we have our panel that allows us to go through and control all the different parameters we can change with CSS. All we need to do first of all is actually click on the element we want to select. And as you can see, as we mouse over our page, all these different elements start to highlight. And if we click on one of those, it'll pick it up on the left hand side. There's the definition that we'll be editing. And then we have all the options available for the background typography and so on. So let's make sure we've got the right things. So let's come down to the email field. We'll click on there. We'll come into the typography section and what we'll do is we'll start changing the typography for our form. So you can see at the moment it's using this particular color. Well, let's just change that. So we'll easily click on there and we'll come down. We'll choose this dark gray color. You can see that it is immediately reflected now on the right hand side in our form. It's easy come down and we'll change the font. So we don't want this one at the moment. We're going to choose something different. So we'll just click and expand that out. And you can see we have tons of fonts, Google fonts and so on. So let's find something we want to use. Let's go for something like Roboto. You can see that now picks the styling up. We can shrink that down. We can change the weight of this so we can set any kind of weight that we want that's supported by the font that we choose. We can also adjust the font size. Let's say we want to make that a little bigger. We can do that. A little smaller. We can do that. Very easy to do. We can set the font styling, any text transformations. So we want this to be all capitals or uppercase. We can do that. We have full control over everything we want to change. We can undo anything we change in here very, very easily. So there's our font styling all set up the way we want. Let's just adjust some of the spacing on there. So we can come down and you can see we've got spacing as an option. So we can easily come in and just add an extra little bit of space at the bottom just to give us a bit more breathing space around our different elements. So we can do that very easily all inside CSS Hero. Now let's just say we want to change the look of these particular form entry fields. Well, we can do that as well. So we're going to select that. You can see now it tells at the top, there's the definition we're going to be editing, which is the text input field. What we're going to do now is we're going to come down and we're going to create a different style for those borders. So let's just come in and choose border. What we're going to do is we're going to set these to be zero and you can see that immediately takes out any of those input fields that are set as text. This is why the email and the message fields are not being affected yet because they are different field types. Therefore, the CSS definition isn't going to affect those. But there's a very quick and easy way of making changes to those once we set up our initial style for our text input areas. So let's just style those first of all. You can see at the moment I've disabled all of the borders for all of the outside of this particular text field. But I can also go through and influence each of the individual sections to so the top, the left, the right, and so on. So let's just say we want to edit the bottom one. We'll set that to be one pixel. And we'll go to the right hand side and we'll set that to be one pixel as well. You can see that now gives us this effect where it's a bottom line and a right hand line. Let's change the color of that to make it a little lighter. And we'll do the same then for the bottom. We'll just change the color there. And you can see I'm just using the color picker option. So it's easy to come in and make these changes. If I want to make that red, I can make it red. If I want to do the same thing then for the right hand side, I can come in and I can choose red on there as well. So it's very, very easy to do. If we want to up that and make 
the right hand side one two pixels so it's a little thicker well we can do that as well if you want to reset any of these properties you can see you've got the little three dots above and we can click on any of those and say reset the property if you find you make a change and it doesn't reflect inside the page that you're working with you may need to set it to important which will then tell it to override the theme settings and the css that's being used in there so we've got a couple of additional options so let's close that down let's get rid of the colors on there so let's just say we like the look of that now i want to make sure that i can apply the same thing without having to go through all those changes for the text input area and for the email fields so we can now use snippets so what I can do is if I come to this little top hamburger menu, I can click on there and you can see I've got an option that says store this element edits as snippet. If I click on that, we now give it a name and we're going to call this is contact red. So I've given it a name and I can set the category that I want in there and we can say this is going to be for forms. And you can see we then got the option to say, do you want me to replace the current element styles with the snippet as well? We'll say, we'll leave that as yes. And we'll say, save the snippet. So now that we've saved that snippet, we can now apply that to other elements on our page. So let's just come through and just click on this field for the email. Come to our snippet section and we'll say, open up the forms option. And you can see there's our contact red. We can click apply and it immediately picks up that styling. So we can do the same again now for our message area, come into snippets. Forms is expanded, click apply, and you can see that's now been applied there as well. So it's much quicker when you have to apply the same styling to multiple different CSS definitions, and you don't want to go through the boring process of having to do it time and time again. So now that we've edited the form text and we've edited the actual form elements, what about the submit button? Well, we can edit that if we want to as well. We can simply come down, click on the edit button or click on the submit button. Then we can come over and all the options are available and you can see the definition now tells us the input field type and the submit particular class we're gonna edit. So let's just change the background of this and we'll pull this into be the same kind of red color. So we'll click on red for that. And once we've done that, we can come down and we can set any of the other things we wanna do. If we want to put a background image in there, we could do that background image size, position, all those kinds of things can be done. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the border radius option and we're going to just adjust those border radiuses. At the moment, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. We can increase if we want to and you can see we've got, again, those options that says the border radius for all four sides or we can edit individual sides. So let's just set that back to be nothing. And what we're going to do is we're going to specify that we want the top left to be 10 and we'll go for the bottom right to be the same again and you can see now we create a much more interesting button simply by adjusting the border radius options now we've created our style for the button but what if we want to change something on there for the hover effects at the moment when you take your mouse over there's not really much going on well we can do that very easily we'll click on the button to make sure it's selected if we come up and click on the actual title or the css definition click on there you can see that now opens up and allows us to edit the normal and the hover states so currently we've edited the normal option. If we click on hover, we can now come in and make changes that will only take effect when the hover or when your mouse goes over that particular element. So let's just change the background color from this red color to something that's much more noticeable. And we'll say we turn it to green when it's actually moused over. So we've done that. Take our mouse over and you can see now it changes to green. So it's incredibly easy to make those changes in any of the states that you want with any kind of element just by editing the CSS definition through CSS Hero. Okay, so so far that's all pretty cool. We've edited various different elements, but what if we want to edit the actual container, some other elements just to style our form? Well, we can do that incredibly easily too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our form element and we're gonna make sure that we select the container for our form. So you can see this is the right hand column in this particular layout. So I've selected that with a blue line around it now to tell us it's been selected and the CSS definition at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to come at the background option and we're going to set a background color in there. So we'll set this to be that pale gray. You can see now it sets the background. We're going to come down then into our spacing option. We'll make sure these are linked together by just clicking on the little link icon in the bottom left hand corner and we're going to set 30 pixels of padding all the way around that element and you can see that now picks it up and we've now got the gray background with the white text areas and the, the fonts and everything all set up we're not limited there we can do some other cool things if we want to so let's just say we want to mimic this kind of effect we've got in the button with the corners or we could do that come into the border radius come in and just do 10 pixels on any of these corners and you can see that now picks up that styling and mimics our button so very easy to do 
But what about if you wanted to do something just a little extra? What if you want to do things like drop shadows and so on? You can do that as well, all inside CSS Hero. So with the main container still selected, we're gonna come to the extra option. You can see we have a 204 make shadow. We can click on there. Now we can go through and specify what we want the shadow to look like. So let's just change this color and we'll set a dark gray to start off with. If we want to control whether it's inside or outside, we can do that. We can adjust the opacity, all those kinds of cool things in there. We've also then got the option to adjust the position of this particular shadow just by using this little pull option that allows us to specify where that shadow is going to sit within our design. So you can see very easy to do in there. If we want to adjust the opacity on there, we can adjust that down as well. The distance, very easy to do just by dragging this out. You can see as we pull it out further, we make it further away from the objects. So it makes it look like it raises up slightly higher. So all that kind of cool control options are in there. Once we're happy, we can click on choose. And then we've got some more options for things like the shadow blur. We can adjust that and the shadow spread if you want to adjust that as well. So you can see everything is updated in real time. So we can make these changes, see what they're going to look like to get exactly the end result that we want. Fine tune and tweak anything we want on there very, very easily. Now, once we're happy with that and we want to save it, we just simply click on save and publish. That's now saved that option as a separate CSS file that loads alongside our theme and anything else. So any impact upon speed is going to be minimal, if anything at all, just for a very small text file with some simple CSS definitions in it. So now that we've restyled our contact form 7 contact form, let's take a look at what it looks like on the page. So this is where we started off. As you can see, the default look, pulling any styles that we've got set up within the theme that we're using. If I just refresh the page, you'll see that we've now got it styled the way we want. We've changed the background color, adjusted padding, text, styles of our input areas, the hover effect on our button, and the background for the overall contact form, all visually done inside CSS Hero. Now, while that wasn't the most beautiful looking end result, what it did do was demonstrate some of the key fundamental tools you have available in CSS Hero. You've seen how to easily style things, but also how to create your own custom styles and apply those any way you want afterwards. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below, so you can click on those, check out CSS Hero in a lot more detail. I also recommend checking out some of the other videos on the channel where we take a look at CSS Hero in a lot more detail. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.